Welcome back to Meshman Studio. So we're gonna take a look here at materials and how we can blend normal maps and bumps and roughnesses using uh, blending modes that need some color space uh, tweaking. We're gonna first here understand uh, the problem and how we can fix it and why. So let's dive in here into my material. Control double click and let's go down here to the normal section where I have hooked up here a tallable map and it's using in height as normal so we can set the strength. So let's imagine that you want to blend another uh, map together with this, like a normal map. So we have here, let's take this one, just drag it into here, say height as normal. And let's take a merge node and set this to over and see what happens. So you can see here now we're replacing, but we want to blend these together. Let's first just emphasize the strength a bit there. What we have, we have a, an, an option here to go to the normal maps and say mix reorient normal maps. And that's the blending mode, but that looks super funky and we wonder why. So the thing is this blending mode, you have to set color space enabled to disable here actually for this to work. So now it's actually working and I'm gonna go into more in depth why you see now we can blend them together. So let's tweak the height of this one. So now the blending mode or the operation is actually working correctly. And let's take a look here at the merge node and look at the color and let's actually go here into the raw like the linear space here to see what's happening. We can see we mix between them, but if I set this to enable now, let's see what happens. Did you see here? It it actually is not blending the math correctly. So set it to disable and now it looks like a normal map. So that's the problem and that is actually coming from how Mari handles channels and color space. So the same thing goes here. If I would blend, for example, to linear uh, values using an overlay, we can see the same. If you do that in Photoshop, 50% uh, value and with an overlay will produce no effect. So let's take a look at see what happens here. So let's I'm in none here. And I have a great constant, it's a linear, it's a constant uh, 50%. And you see here, overlay here, if I tweak this, you see it goes brighter. And that's because the color space enabled is enabled and that's default at the moment in the Mori. I set it to disable and now the math works correctly. So if I now use this amount slider, nothing happens. It stays the same and that's what I would expect. So let's take a look here in channels. So now I wanna check this uh, using an 8-bit versus 16-bit and see what happens. So let's here create an 8-bit channel and see what happens. 8-bit, just take some uh, value here. Let's make it something like that and see what happens default just call space and hit ok let's go to layers and uh, now we can see here if i create a new layer here for example and go to this little green arrow here so by default um, we have color space enabled here and uh, that is because it's 8-bit uh, data. Let's create a 16-bit and see what happens there, uh, what it's set to. So it's default uh, 16. Let's take 16-bit color space and just hit again and see, and see what happens. Go to my layers, let's create a new layer, see what happens. And there you see, now the color space is disabled. It's because it's 16 bit and um, that's important because when I create a merge node in Mari using the node graph, it actually defaults to set this to enabled. But if you have float values or scalar data that you wanna blend correctly using, uh, for example, the normal uh, node, the normal mode here called uh, Max Orient, it actually 
it's you have to set this to disabled for it to work and the same goes to if you want to blend for example um, using this contrast overlay and that is because for example overlay is actually um, defined in the way it is in Photoshop and Photoshop is actually not defined the blending mode overlay is expecting a gamma encoded uh, input if I'm not uh, mistaken and that's why you have to set this to disable it for uh, the blending mode to actually work in the same fashion it does in Photoshop so that's why you uh, have to uh, if you do blending modes like um, the normal mix reorient or specular you want to make a specular breakup and add you know like a, an overlay and you want it to work as in um, Photoshop where 50% gray will not actually raise the value around 0.5 but rather keep it at zero so everything that's below 0.5 goes darker and anything that's above goes brighter then you have to actually go into the merge node that you have created and set this to disable for this, that to function properly. So that's my tip here around uh, this. So let's see here if I wanna break up the roughness as well and use something similar. So let's go into the material. Let's go to my roughness and insert something here. So this is my roughness. Let's say that we wanna take something here from uh, this one. Let's take a uh, histogram scan and tweak it. Okay, so we wanna use this as an overlay around this. So what I do here, I go to color space enable, set it to disable and then I use my contrast overlay and start to set this amount slider. So let's go back to the shader and take a look at the breakup we get using this now. So the, the white values will go above and the dark values will tweak below. So we will get some additional breakup onto this material. The stronger I do here, the more breakup you will get. Yeah, so that's uh, something to think about. You This color space enabled and set it to disable when you create merge node by default. So I actually, as I extensively work in only 16-bit data because it's, it's easier for me to get the precision and the result I'm expecting, I would actually like uh, foundry to do something here for my node graph for example well i have a checkbook uh, checkbox here to say create uh, color space enabled disabled uh, by to whatever blending or whatever setting i want as default so i don't have to go and manually switch this when i create merge nodes so i hope that's going to come or they come up with a better solution to actually handle this in a similar way that they have created for the channels because the channels actually if we go back looking at the 8-bit it, it it checks at the color space rules this one is 8-bit so the merge the blending mode is going to be here set automatically versus here as well um, that's something uh, that it actually check the channel node and see what bit depth it is and set it encoding. But when you create a merge node on its own, it can't do that because there is nothing associated to drive this setting because it's actually something that's picked up by the channel. Uh, that's at least how I understand it working. So yeah, uh, that's a bit about blending modes and uh, how you can deal with uh, normal maps when you blend them. And it's important to actually set this color space uh, on the merge node when you build your materials if you want to blend it correctly okay uh, if you want to support my channel consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything see you on the channel bye bye